New at 10, in just a matter of hours, some Chicago nurses say they will unite for a day of action. They say to keep you and them safe in the midst of this pandemic. Let's get right to our Charlie Damar, live in the medical district. Charlie. And Erica, that day of action will include nurses right here in Chicago and across the country. They're calling for increased staffing levels and also safer conditions inside the hospital. Tonight, we had the opportunity to speak to a Chicago nurse, a veteran nurse at that, who says that she's been thinking about quitting the job since the start of the pandemic. Illinois continues to set records for new COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations. Coronavirus related deaths are reaching heights not seen in almost a year. How are you holding up? personally it's been challenging it's emotionally and physically it's hard marie lafontant a nurse for nearly 40 years has spent the last two decades at the university of chicago when i first started as a young nurse it was during the aids epidemic but right now this is the worst i have ever seen the veteran health care worker says understaffing and safety concerns have driven some nurses to quit. La Fontaine says she's considered it. We're constantly working short. We're angry because, because people are not taking percussion. Our health care workers are burning the candle at both ends and in the middle as well. Dr. Ngaze Ezike with the state health department says only 9% of ICU beds are available in Illinois, creating long wait times for anyone who needs a bed. Brian Dunleavy brought his 83-year-old brother, Ed, to Palos Hospital for a non-COVID issue and says he waited 17 hours before he was treated. Nobody asked him if he was hungry, nothing. He slept in a wheelchair and he scrounged up from someone some potato chips. As nurses, we have constantly gone out there and saying that we need more people at the bedside. And the largest union representing nurses also frustrated that certain OSHA protections are set to expire, also raising concerns that some of the guidance, some of that CDC guidance over isolation times have been reduced from 10 days to five days. Reporting live from the medical district, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Erica. Charlie, thank you.